full details in the blog post linked in the description. The blog post will be kept up to date with any new details that appear. Faulty TV If there's an issue with the TV to which the Nintendo Switch is connected, one of the side effects could be the Switch cutting out. If you have more than one TV, connect your Nintendo Switch to another one. Use it similarly to the TV that cut out and see if it does the same thing. If the switch doesn't cut out on the other TV, the first TV may have a problem. You could also try connecting a different gaming console or external device to your TV. If they also cut out on your TV, you've got a faulty TV on your hands. There are numerous reasons why your TV isn't functioning properly. Usually, a power cycle can resolve any minor issues. Here's how to power cycle your TV. Keep your TV turned on. Unplug the TV from the power source for 30 seconds to a minute. Press the power button if your TV has one for five seconds. Plug your TV into the power source. Then, you can turn on the TV and reconnect your switch to see if it still cuts out. If a power cycle doesn't resolve the problem, you may need to have a professional inspect your TV. Loose or faulty HDMI cable The HDMI cable that connects your switch to the TV could be the source of the problem. For this potential problem, you'll need to check a few things about the cable. There's always the possibility that you didn't properly connect your switch to the TV by plugging the cable into either or both of the switches and the TV's output holes. So the first thing you should do is check to see if the HDMI cable is loose in any of the holes. If that's not the case, the next step is to make sure you're using the correct HDMI cable for your switch and TV. There are old HDMI cables that support lower resolutions. These can significantly affect the transmission between your switch and TV. That's why it's essential to use the HDMI cable that came with your device. If you don't have the HDMI cable that came with your switch, you should get one that has a similar or higher rating. Faulty AC adapter. Similarly to the HDMI cable, you shouldn't use an AC adapter that doesn't meet the same specifications as the one that came with your switch. AC adapters are in charge of supplying the correct amount of electricity to your device. Using an AC adapter that provides less or more electricity than needed can result in several problems. So, if you're not using your switch's adapter, you should use one that has the same specifications. Another issue could be that the switch's AC adapter is faulty. Whether it's old or malfunctioning, a faulty AC adapter can also result in several problems. Since there isn't an easy way to determine that the AC adapter isn't working, it's best to borrow a Nintendo Switch adapter and check to see if the Switch still cuts out on TV. If the problem resolves, you'll need to replace the Switch's AC adapter. Luckily, it's usually inexpensive and available online. Faulty Dock So far, the possible causes of Nintendo Switch cutting out on TV have had nothing to do with the Switch itself. That said, the Nintendo Switch is unfortunately not faultless. However, before blaming the Switch unit itself, let's take a look at the dock. To find out if the dock is the root of the problem, take the Switch out of the dock. Set it up in tabletop mode or handheld mode. Play a game. If the switch no longer cuts out, the issue is with the dock. Usually, the dock's problem lies within the connector pins. So try cleaning the connector pins with a burst of compressed air to remove any dirt or dust. If the switch still cuts out after you connect it to the dock, you may need to repair or replace your switch's dock. Faulty switch unit. If the switch still cuts out on TV after you take it out of the dock, the switch unit itself may be the problem. You can resolve any software issues by trying some solutions. Update software. If your switch is out of date, a bug may be to blame. So update your switch to the most recent version. Soft reset the switch unit. Unplug the switch from the power source. Press and hold the switch's power button for 12 seconds. Leave the switch turned off for 30 minutes. 
turn on the switch to see if the problem persists. Factory reset the unit. If all else fails, you should factory reset your switch unit. Click System Settings from the home screen. Scroll down the menu and choose System. Scroll down to the bottom of the screen and choose Formatting Options. Click Initialize Console. Click Next to continue. Click Initialize. Keep in mind that this should be your last resort because factory resets erase all data on the device. If you are still having issues, try taking a look at the comments. I will also keep the blog post linked in the description, updated with any new fixes that appear.